What's up, YouTube? It's Christopher. This is more of a weapon than it is an instrument. This is the Keith Marrow KM7 Mark II. It's awesome, to say the least. It's got a really nice looking black see-through flame maple top. Back is mahogany, or, or swamp ash rather. Um, neck through. We got a one, two, three, four, five piece, which is uh, maple and walnut, I think. It's got awesome bevels to it. You can see the body shapes very nicely there for your arm and belly contour. Neck through. Awesome neck. It's got a volute in the back, which I love. Locking Schecter tuners. Very cool design on that headstock. Put a piece of foam underneath the strings to get rid of sympathy sounds. It's got the Ernie Ball compensated nut. It's got an ebony fretboard, stainless steel frets. It's got the Lumen Lay side dots that glow in the dark. This thing is a beast of a guitar. It's got a good weight to it, man. It's, it's not light. If I had to guess, I would say this is probably around nine, nine and a half pounds, I would guess. It's ferocious. It's loaded with the Keith Marrow uh, Fishman signature pickups. So that's why we have a little battery port here in the back. String through, give you that extra sustain. It's got my favorite style uh, output jack on there, which is the old Ibanez kind, I guess, barrel type. It's got hip shot bridge, very solid. This guitar sounds mighty. So let's get right into it. Plug this guy in. Uh, I need a strap. So, I got a little strap here, throw this on real quick. Come on now. These people are waiting. And I, I got this strap <laughs> for heavier guitars. It's pretty squishy. It's an Ibanez Bass Workshop strap. And it's funny because it's the shortest strap I have, which is really strange. I have it maxed out, but I'm kind of big. I'm a little big so when I put it on it's violin style and it sounds mighty <laughs> sounds sick so it is a metal monster um, I feel like I don't even want to show you clean tones on this <laughs> Thank you. 
just want to write songs that go chug chug on the low B. That's all I want to do. This guitar is so heavy and it makes me want to play friggin' Meshuga songs. <laughs> Awesome. So we got two voicings on this because on this hip shot volume knob, we got a push pull. And by the way, I forgot to mention, there's only two switches here. You got volume, three way switch. Obviously, down is a bridge, middle is both, up is just the neck. And you've got this guy that gives you voice one when it's down, voice two when it's up. And in my opinion, voice one is the one. Uh, it's fuller sounding. It's got a little bit more low end. Uh, when you pop it into the second or voice two, uh, it thins out a little bit. It doesn't doesn't. It's not splitting it into a single coil at all. It's just a different voice, and it's not as robust. And I'll show you what I mean. So if we play. <laughs> thinner doesn't sound quite as thick same thing with the neck position so if I play in some syrupy leads on voice one pop that up it sounds a little bit thinner um, not a lot, you can maybe not tell through YouTube, but um, it's definitely a different tone. So, interestingly enough, I've only listened to the, uh, the clean tones on this thing once. <laughs> I've had it for like a week now, maybe not a week, almost a week, um, and I think I've used clean on it one time. So let's see what we got here for clean tones. That's not a clean tone. I thought it was. Where the heck is my clean tone? Oh, right there. Clean fish sticks. It's got some effects on it, so I apologize to you anti-effects folks. It's a bridge pickup. So, pop that up, bridge position, much thinner. Wow, I'm so good at this. <clears throat> Middle position.
neck position. Ooh, my switch stop. clean kind of suck at it you add an extra string and my brain goes yeah but we go back to my heavy tone because that's where I like it uh, let's see we're gonna go to the wet fish there here yes so this thing just rips as a metal guitar I think it's nasty. If you want a metal machine, oh, by the way, the truss rod thing is right there to adjust the truss rod. There's nothing better than that, in my opinion. Um, obviously, the pickups mount right to the body. Amazing guitar. I got this in a trade, by the way. Um, so it's used, but it's in really, really good shape. It's got a couple little dings on it, I think. Uh, there's one that should be visible down here somewhere. I think it's like right here, but it's very minuscule. So I, I think this is a near mint. Best seven string I've ever played. And I've played a handful, not too many, but you know, I've played Strandbergs, I've played Ibanez, I've had a few Ibanez, uh, other Schecter seven strings. Uh, I've had ESP seven strings. I've played Agile seven strings. Oh, who else have I played? Legator seven strings. So I've played a bunch, and this one smokes every seven string I've ever played, including the Ibanez, and I used to have a universe, and this thing destroys it. The neck profile on this thing is amazing. It's very flat. Uh, it's kind of, it's like between a C and a D, I think. It's like a C with more comfortable shoulders. And I have to tell you that um, these frets are immaculate. Now, I did buy this used, but I, I don't know if the person before me did this fret job or not, but I doubt it. Um, they're just too perfect. I don't know, maybe he sent it out to be set up. I have no idea, but these frets are immaculate. I hope that's how they come out of the factory. Um, just an awesome guitar. I could babble on about it for another 20 minutes, um, but I'm not going to. So check it out. It's the Schecter Keith Merrow Signature. It's the KM7 Mark II uh, from Schecter Guitars, and it's fantastic. So before I exit this video, I've had multiple people ask me what my settings are in these videos where I'm using my Polini app. Um, so I'm going to show you very quickly what my settings are. I'm going to put this guitar down actually and uh, turn my camera around and show you my screen so that you can see the settings that I have on my patch here. Okay, so hopefully I can't see anymore whether it's in the frame or not. So that looks like you're there. I hope. I hope you're in there. I can't really see it. I need something to reflect. Something to reflect. Anything? Anybody? I need a reflection. There we go. Yeah, there you go. So there it is. That's the screen. So you can see my settings there. So that's the amp. If I go over to the pedals, I got this going on. And if I go over to the EQ, I got this going on. And if I go, whoops, and if I go over to the speaker cab, I got that going on. 
And if I go over to the output pedals, or the pedals that are in the uh, effects loop, essentially, I got that going on. So I saw, I'm sorry I went through it quickly, but you can pause it on each one if you want to get all those settings. So there you go, YouTube. That's the Keith Marrow. That thing's mint. And then you got to see my Polini settings. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Au revoir. Peace.